Mm. Well, here we are, Hamilton. And, and, and everyone else, of course, right, yes. Don't forget everyone else, but here you and I are, writing the Constitution. Yep. Just me and Jefferson. Yep. But, you know, it's crazy to think that, even through all the troubles that we've had here in the Continental Congress, that we even have gotten through everything and the stuff that this country itself has gone through. It's pretty amazing. You know, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I still, I still think that uh, your whole economy just sucks. I mean, urban... What? what? Agriculture is pretty tough. Dude, uh, and my mom's hand me that. If our ain't pretty good. But yeah, I mean, just think about it. It all started with that whole Boston Tea Party. That was just a that was a crazy day. Yeah. I heard a guy died. Oh, that was my cousin. Oh really? Yeah, he wow. specialized in a uh, duck craft. Duck craft. Yeah, I don't I've never met a duck crafter. Some guy just has something against that. Wow, man, duck crafting. Oh, I'm gonna try We want our tea. tea! We want our tea! We want our tea! Yeah, well, if you want your tea, you're gonna have to pay for it. Yeah? How am I gonna pay for that? I I'm just a duck carver. No one even wants these things anyway. You know, I'll hand it to you, man. Your duck carvings are actually kind of cool, but it sounds like your life sucks. So uh, I guess I'll pity you and give you your stupid tea. Really? Yeah, really. You want it? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Man, was it worth it? Oh, and uh, sandwich trials. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I don't even think we should talk about those. That was, that was pretty bad. <laughs> those were, yeah. Only, only 19 people died. This. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. Pun stuff. Not good. Hey, you! Yeah, what? Dude, you're a witch! I am not a witch. Yeah, you are. Okay, why do you say I'm a witch? When I was eight years old, I came to you and you said when I was older, I was gonna become a poor wood carver who specializes in ducks, and it totally came true. So. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, what does that have anything to do with me being a witch? Dude, you're a witch. Dude, I'm not a witch. Yeah, you are. Hi, I am a witch. And if you're like me, you've been nominated for the SWT Burn Yourself Alive Challenge. So, I'd like to thank the nice man I just met for nominating me for this great cause. So, I mean, let's get to it. Oh, yeah. I nominate Rebecca Nurse and Sarah Good. Have fun, guys. Oh, you have 24 hours. <laughs> Still, that's bad. I don't like I don't like Salem, Massachusetts. Quite bad. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and before all that, it was uh, Paul Revere. <laughs> well, actually, the Salem witch trials were way before it, but but Paul Revere, he did start the whole thing between us and the British. Man, that guy went around everywhere at night, just literally everywhere. Warning, like every. He told everyone the British were coming. Uh, I'm glad he didn't tell me. Did he tell you? He told me. Yeah. He told Wow, okay. That, that really... I feel for you. <laughs> oh god, the beacon! That means the British are coming! Oh god, oh god, oh god, the British are coming! Uh, yeah, that's not towards Conquer, though. Two years of bad luck, don't give a crap. The British are coming! The British are coming! The British are coming! The British are coming! Witches were here! Witches were here! Why were witches here? Oh my god! They're
witches are coming and witches! Don't forget about the witches! Yo, Sam! Adam, you're, Sam. Uh, you're not Sam, you're Hamilton. Sorry about that. Yo, Hamilton, yeah. you better tell Sam Adams <gasps> that the British are looking for him, man. They're gonna kill him. Alright? They're looking for him, all right, man. Alright. Right. <gasps> you better watch out for them British, though. They're coming. You better hide, go inside, do whatever. Alright, man? Alright, the nasty, thanks! Right. The witches. witches! Don't forget about the witches, man! I just saw them, they're burning stuff! Alright? Alright, All right. you keep your room! The right. British are coming! Oh, uh, Benedict Arnold. Oh that, my god, that guy. I hate Benedict Arnold. He just, he just, he really just makes me not want to even, like, write with pencils or even hear the word pencil. And yeah, like, what was even the point of capturing Fort Ticonderoga? I don't know. It was just stupid. Well, I mean, it helped us win, but I mean, you know, he shouldn't have given up West Point. The pencil was a great idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, he's such a jerk. That's why I'm using those rooms. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, it smells nice. Huh. Woohoo! Yeah, Arnold! You're the man! Yeah, thanks. Alright, All right, today was a good day, guys. We... Yeah, good day! Alright, we captured Fort Ticonderoga with only. Woohoo! <laughs> Ticonderoga! Alright, settle down, settle down. Uh. Alright. That was a good day, guys. Good job. Uh, well, wait. General, I, I have a great suggestion that you need to hear. This place of Ticonderoga, we should build a factory here. And we should build some pencils. And call them Ticonderoga pencils. I think it sounds like a great idea. What do you think? Yes. Alright, let's do it! Traitors. <laughs> trailers. Did you say trailers? I said traitors. Ah. Traitors. Hey! Hey, you over here? Yeah! Psst! Arnold, man! Yo! Yo, Arnold! Yo! Hey, hey, what up, dog? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. You know, I heard I heard that you guys, uh, you got, I heard you're in command of West Point now, man. Yeah, I just got appointed. You captured, you know, that fort from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's okay, man. That's okay. So, I got this proposition for you. Alright, so... What you're gonna do is we're gonna come in and invade that place, and you're just gonna totally let us have it. I, I'm not. I'm not following. You, I'm, you're gonna. You're gonna let us. We're gonna. We're gonna come in, and you're gonna be like, oh, British, they're too good. You're gonna have it. So that's what's gonna work. And then I, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, yeah. But wait. Wait. I'll pay you right now, and then I'll give you a pension, and you'll be hooked for life, man. And the British will protect you. And drink tea. How much are we talking about? Like six thousand bucks. Euros. Alright, 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 man. Here you go. Alright. You're good for that, right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'll kill you. I'll kill you, man. I swear, I'll kill you. Dude, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, man. Oh, you remember the um, Battle of Brandywine? Yeah, yeah, hey, Georgie. What did you think of that? The whole. What was that your idea for the whole blockade? Did that work? What? Your, your friend drowned? <laughs> oh. Wow, you let you let a British person drown one year, man. Okay. Nice. What a good job. Well, I see you found General Washington's blockade. Yeah, yeah. Good job for you. So come over here so I can talk to you. So what are you here for anyways? It's just one guy standing in a river. General Hell wants to take over the capital of Philadelphia. Yeah, well, that sucks for you, because you won't ever do it. No, I won't do that. Well, I don't know, because I'm here. I mean, you're just nothing. We're going to do it anyway. All right, let's fight, man. <laughs> that was so unfair. Yeah, well, I told you I was going to do that. All right, where did that guy go? Well, Brandy. Last signature. Last signature for me. Just to finish it off. Perfect. Well, I think that's finished, everyone. And I declare this right here the Constitution of the United States of America. Well done. Well, well, well done. High five, man. Yeah.